Hello everyone. Today we are discussing the May Terrascope for Pisces. Let's get started by clearing out the energy. Okay, Pisces. What do we have coming up for Pisces in May? Okay, Spirit, what does Pisces have coming up in May? Tell us what Pisces needs to know. What area do we need to focus in? And what do we need to know? What message do we need to receive for Pisces? Today we are using the 78 Tarot Mythological Tarot of the Legendary. Okay, Lord Pisces. Tell us what Pisces needs to know for the month of May 2019. One more time. Now let's find Miss Pisces. Okay. Looking for your significator card now. And here we go. So, for the month of May, the focus is going to be on challenges, conflicts, battles, and legal matters. Ooh, this should be interesting. So, let's see what we got here.
Okay. We have the King of Cups. Trolls are fantastical beings that appear in both Scandinavian and Norwegian folklore. Depending on the legend, they range from small creatures to giant, cruel, and vicious monsters. Norwegian Huldrafolk are so similar to humans that they are nearly indiscernible as mythological creatures. But Scandinavian Jotun share their name with giants for a very simple reason. They are sometimes portrayed as slow, sometimes gentle creatures, and in several tales, they are depicted as calm figures with an affinity for stone. Here we have the King of Cups by Poole Duel. In a murky, turbulent sea, the King of Cups is at repose on an ancient throne of rock. He is the calm in the storm, a point of serenity in a world of commotion as he patiently drinks his fill. You know you don't need to ignore emotion in favor of logic. You can easily connect to your feelings, employ them as a tool, a way to help you navigate the world as a compassionate human being rather than a distant automation. You may not be able to exert control at all times, but you have the strength of will and mind to stay calm in the face of any crisis that may arise. The King of Cups represents a wise, understanding figure, a natural advisor and mentor who is equally comfortable pulling no punches as he is when being a shoulder to lean on inspiring you and driving you to be more compassionate and tolerant. Justice Mott is the goddess of justice, truth, and balance of the Egyptian pantheon, and she was the personification of these concepts. Her role within the gods was to keep order in the world, to keep the stars moving, the will of the year spinning, and to prevent chaos from claiming the world. She also dealt with the weighing of souls as they entered the underworld, as each heart was weighed against a feather. Here we have Justice by Enamorte. Mott carefully considers the scales before her. A soul has to be pure to enter the fields of Aura, and so each person's heart is weighed against the feather of Mott, goddess of justice. If the soul is pure enough, the heart will be equal to or lighter than the feather. What goes around comes around. The consequences of your actions will keep making themselves known. Build a commitment within your life to being fair and honest with those around you. Understanding that we are all connected and that how you act may cause far-reaching results. Don't consider the rewards, but do it because it's right. Knowing that the universe will give you your due in time. Be aware that past misdeeds may come back and bite you in the butt. The Seven of Cups The Pallades were seven sisters born of Atlas, the Titan, to Pleione, the sea nymph. Nymphs themselves, they were mothers to some other mythic fig figures, but their own legend is infamous. Orion, the huntsman, started to pursue all of the sisters when they lost the protection of their father, when Atlas was forced to hold up the sky. Zeus came to their aid, transforming them all into doves and later into stars. 
It is said they all killed themselves out of sorrow, and that Zeus took pity on them and turned them into a constellation that can still be seen today. Here we have the Seven of Cups by Ellen Millen. Million. Against a starlit night sky, seven beautiful nymphs stand, each holding a goblet of temptation, power, wealth, and other glorious offerings. There is a clear path between them, the sea nymphs holding the waters back. But for how long? Decisions, decisions. There are so many possibilities before you that it's turned into a blessing and a curse. You're losing focus. So many things whirling around in your mind and heart that you're getting caught up in the process rather than moving forward. Getting distracted by flights of fancy. Targeting too many things at once. Realistically, it doesn't matter how many options you have if you don't actively chase any of them. The King of Wands. Apollo is the god of light, oracles, music, and art of Greek mythology. He is one of the only gods to keep the same name within Roman mythology, but his Roman followers worshipped him as a god of healing in the main part. He was a master of most things he set his mind to, a born leader and the intermediary between men and the gods. Here we have the King of Wands by Clinton Newhouse. An older Apollo sits, his throne of wood aflame with passion, a salamander on his lap. The fire does not rage out of control, but forms delicate loops and infinity signs bending to his will. He is one with the universe, at home within the stars and Olympus. You have the passion and strength you need. Just keep focus and don't allow negativity to affect you. Consult with those who share your vision rather than naysayers who may sap your energy. The King of Wands signifies a commanding presence in your life, unafraid to stand in the spotlight and lead, confident and experienced, sure of themselves and of every decision, willing to help you succeed. And the Six of Wands. The unicorn is a fantastic creature that appears in European folklore, renowned for its purity and innate magical nature. A horse with a single horn, the unicorn is able to cure poison and heal disease and corruption. Here we have the Six of Wands by Ash Evans. A triumphant bunny rides towards victory on the back of a pure mystical unicorn, basking in the knowledge that his tasks are completed, and he has excelled in their execution. He doesn't need spectators to his success. His own appreciation is reward enough. It has been a long time coming, but now praise and appreciation is coming your way. Don't shy away. You may not be comfortable in the limelight, and you're not doing this for reward, but your time and effort deserve recognition. Own your achievements, accept the compliments, and let it spur you on to even greater heights. Okay, Pisces. Well, I can tell by looking at these cards, there definitely are challenges, conflicts, battles, possibly even legal matters that are going to be happening for you during the month of May. Um... Some points to remember is stay calm in the storm, control your emotions and use them to your benefit, be compassionate and tolerant, be fair and honest, be selfless and pure of heart, make wise decisions, slow down without getting distracted, stay focused, no negativity, nobody needs that shit, be a leader, not a follower, hold your head high. 
Accept praise and recognition for your works without expecting any rewards for your actions. You've earned this. Own it. What can I say? You may run into some conflicts during May. For some of you, this can lead to some very heated discussions and possibly even fights. Spirit is giving you a heads up so that you can prepare yourself to stay composed. Stay calm. Make wise decisions. Be pure of heart. Don't do something for the recognition or reward. Do it out of the goodness of your heart. Stay focused on the positive. People will try to drag you down with their negativity. Rise above all of that. You are better than that. Hold your head high and own who you are. Be proud of who you are as a good person. You come out of this month a lot better than you came into it. Well, my beautiful Pisces, I hope that this message has resonated with you and will help you out. If you would like a more detailed reading, you can go to my website at www.conjurenits.com and click on the link at the top that says reading. Have a beautiful May. Love you guys. Closing out now.